Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Beth Deer. It started out with the things, I've never seen it like this. Thanks to cooks for the fish. Voices are ringing high at Camp Mask Platoon on Pigeon Lake, and for good reason. Camp Director Matela St. Jean explains the importance behind offering an inclusive camp experience. I personally think that it's important for everyone to experience nature and to experience community and to experience like new things that happen here at camp, and so it's important that there are opportunities for people with varying abilities to have those experiences. So this week at camp, we have about half of our campers coming from the CNIB and the other half coming as independent registrations. My name is Stacy Pickering and I am the assistant for the Children and Youth Department at CNIB. We believe that all children should have the chance to attend camp and we had come to this camp last year with our North children and we felt that it was a good partnership to have for this year, opening it up to the whole province. We hope that CNIB clients gain from this experience the ability to interact with children of similar ages in a camp setting. The children attending the camp range from 9 to 14 years old and this opportunity is giving all kids three parent-free days to have fun, make friends, and practice more independence. So we've marked the cabins just with some colorful tape. We had a session with some members of the CNIB and they said that that would be helpful for them in finding their where to go. Each day is packed with all sorts of fun activities, but they have four main programs in which the kids participate. The Bugs program is an outdoor education part of camp where campers are able to use natural materials in their crafts and so today we are making bird feeders with pipe cleaners and Cheerios. Our sports program is focused on physical activity and today they're playing four corner soccer. Crafts is our tactile activity where campers are building things and today they're building jellyfish with paper plates and string. Archery is a great activity to have here at camp because the counselors are always there supporting and guiding them while they're learning how to shoot a bow. Nice. I absolutely think that other camps should consider making their facilities more accessible. It's been super simple. There hasn't really been major adjustments that needed to happen. It's more just like consideration of where kids might have more difficulty with some activities and really it's been like really minor adjustments. Camp mentor Kenny Sage explains why this camp is important for the CNIB kids. Even if they can't see as well as the other kids or do all the same things as the other kids, that they can have just as much fun, that they can have just as good a, of an experience, maybe even a better experience in ways too. And just watching the ways they interact with camp and are able to engage in activities, even if they're like different needs and things, has been like really rewarding and that their needs don't need to like preclude them from just being part of something like camp. I think the fully sighted kids will take away the idea that people with different challenges and different needs like aren't actually as different from them as they might think. That they have like personalities too and they're and they can be funny and have fun and like maybe beat them at games and stuff. And I think that's good for them to, to see that in the end we're all just really people. He did it. When summer ends, CNIB kids still have important social opportunities in which they are encouraged to partake. The CNIB year-round offers our buddy groups, which is ages 7 to 14, where they have a mentor. CNIB also offers our youth leadership, where the youth go out into the community with volunteer opportunities. With this collaboration, we've really been able to normalize the camp experience by creating a collaboration that's making camp accessible to all. So registration for camp opens in October and you can find us online by searching Camp Mascapatoon.